Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptech Knowledge. In this tutorial, we are going to add category for product from the admin dashboard. So over here, you can see this is the sidebar and on the sidebar, we will add a category option over here. So let's go back to our code and we will directly go to our resource views and admin folder. Inside admin folder, we have sidebar.plate.php and here we are going to add our category option. So let me just go a little down. So here you can see form element. So over here, instead of form element, we are going to say here category and we'll save it. Control S. Now we'll just go to our browser and if you refresh, here you can see category written over here. So uh, what will happen if we click category, uh, it will take us to another page and we'll have a category add option over here. So let's go back to our code and let's create the view first. And here you can see category. So here you can see anchor tag and here you can see the href so let me just remove this href so in this href we are going to mention a route so let's keep two second bracket and then we are going to say here url to first bracket and let's say first we are going to create a view let's say for category so let's say view underscore category uh, so let's save it Control s and right now we'll go to our route web.php and we'll create this route so let's go to our route then we'll go to web.php and here we are going to mention the url so let me just copy this on Control c then we are going to paste it over here and here we are going to say slash view underscore category and inside this uh home controller index we are going to say uh, let's say same name view underscore category and here you can see home controller instead of home controller we are going to say here admin controller since we are working with the admin so we will mention here admin controller so for it let me just go to my project and this is our project and let me just open another cmd here and let's create the admin controller let's say here php artisan make controller it will be admin controller let's press enter and controller created successful so right now if we go to our app then http then controller here you can see admin controller and we also need to add this admin controller over here as well at the top of web.php so let me just copy this and paste it here and we'll say here admin controller admin controller so let's save it control s so right now we'll go to our admin controller and create this view category function in the admin controller so let's go to our controller then admin controller and here we are going to say public function view underscore category then we'll give two second bracket and we'll just return a view over here we'll say return view and let's say it will be uh, let's say admin dot category so what will happen is that if someone click on this category option then uh, it will automatically call this url view category which is in the web.php view category and this view category will call this uh, function view category in the admin controller which is this one here you can see public function view category and this category will return as a view over here which is admin.category now we'll create a category.blade.php in the admin folder so let's go to our admin folder and here you can see admin folder and let's just right click over here on the admin then click new file and here we are going to say category.blade.php so control s and then save so let me just remove this on and right now okay let's just say here html uh let's just say in the body category if you now save it and if you now refresh here and then click category so here you can see it's written over here category so right now what we want is that we want to see a uh, admin dashboard view in the category page so for it uh, we'll go to our code again then we'll go to our home.blade.php in the admin folder and here you can see that in the home.blade.php we include the admin.css we include the uh, sidebar header the body part and the skip part so i'm just going to copy everything from here control a control c and we'll go to our category.blade.php and we'll just paste everything over here so right now uh, if we now save it then if you now refresh here then click category you'll basically see the same view so right now what we'll do is that uh, we'll remove this body part 
admin dot body part uh, admin dot body part is actually this part so we are just going to remove this on then save it and then refresh and there you go we have some space over here and here we are going to have some input field to add our category from here so first of all one more thing we need to do is that uh, we need to go to the body.blade.php and here you can see two div main panel and content wrapper so we need to copy this and we need to paste it in the category and we also need to in this two div as well and for this div as well and inside it we are going to write our input field because otherwise uh, whatever input field you create you won't be able to see the input field and also if you now save it then if you just refresh here you will see a different thing and here you can see you can see there is a line over here and it looks really good so we are going to write the input field inside this to this otherwise uh, we will not be able to see the input field so here first of all uh, let's say here let's just mention another div and inside this div we are going to say h2 tag and let's say here uh, add category so right now save it then let's refresh and here you can see add category now let's have this add category in the middle so here uh, in this div we are going to mention a class uh, let's say class name will be div underscore center so we'll write some css uh, to make sure everything is in the center so for it uh, for this class div underscore center we are going to just uh, in the head section we are going to mention a style let's say here style and inside this style we are going to mention that div underscore center we'll give to second bracket and here we are going to say let's say text align uh, it will be center and let's also say padding top let's say it will be 40 px so now let's save it and if we now refresh okay it's in the center now let's also increase the font size for this text as well so here uh, in the h2 let's say here mention another class let's say h2 underscore font we'll mention the font size for this add category so here we'll say the dot h2 font and we'll just say here font size let's say 40 px and we'll also say padding bottom it will be 40 px oh i also forgot to give the underscore over here as well so right now let's save it and if you now refresh you will see the font size a little bigger so right now we'll add a text field over here and a add button so for it let's go back to our code again and then so here uh, in this div we are going to mention a form let's say here form and inside this form we'll have an input field let's say input type it will be text and let's say name equal to it will be name and let's also give the placeholder let's say uh, right category name and we'll give a submit button here let's say input type will be submit and uh, let's say name equal to uh, submit and then we'll mention the value let's say here for value will be add category and we are also going to mention a bootstrap class here so we'll say here class uh, it will be let's say btn btn uh, let's say here primary so right now if we save it and then if we just refresh here here you can see we have a text field over here and we have a add category button over here so right now what we want is that if someone click uh, write something over here let's say here shirt and okay the text color in the input field we cannot see because the text color is white so in the input field we will mention a class let's say here class it will be let's say input underscore color uh, so let's save it and we'll go at the top in the same uh, style and we'll say dot input underscore color and here we are just going to say color it will be black so save it then refresh and if we write something here you can see the text color over here properly okay so uh, let's say we'll write shirt and we, if we just click the add category it will add the category to our database uh, to that category table now we do not have the category table right now so we'll create a category table so for creating the category table we will go to our cmd we will create the uh, category table and the model at the same time so we are going to say over here 
PHP artisan make model uh, let's we'll say category our table name will be category and model name will be category as well and we'll say minus m so it will uh, create a model and the migration for uh, for category table at the same time so we'll just press enter here you can see model created successfully and migration is also created so if we now go to our port and if we just go to the models app then models here you can see category.php and we'll now go to our database then migrations and here you can see create category table.php so here we are going to say dollar table then we'll say here string and we'll say the category name mention the category uh, let's say we'll say here category name so it will be our column name in that table okay let's save it control s now we'll run a migration in the cmd so let me just press control c so here uh, in the cmd we are going to say php artisan migrate so if we press enter now it will create a uh, table in this e-commerce pro database so let's just press enter over here and here you can see migration is done so if you now just refresh here uh, here you can see a category table over here and over here as well if you just click on it here you can see category name over here so right now we'll go back to our code and do something so that we can upload the category data in the table so let's go back and we'll go to our category.blade.php and here you can see forms so in this form we are going to say here action then we'll say method and we also need to mention at the rate of csrf token uh, if you do not give it you will get an error so the method will be post and in the action let's say it will be uh, let's just mention url to first bracket to single quotation and here we'll say add underscore category so let's save it control s and we'll go to our route and create this url so let's go to our web.php and let me just copy this on control c and here control v so here uh, the url name was add underscore category i think it was add underscore okay add underscore and let's say our function name will be add underscore category as well so let's save it and we'll go to our admin controller.php then let me just copy this on then paste it here and we'll say here add category and and let me remove this so here we want to add the category data to our table over here category table so for it we need to first add the category model at the top so here we are going to say use app backslash models backslash and here you can see inside models we have category so we'll say category so we'll have access to the category model from this admin controller so here let me just declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to we are going to say new category so in this dollar data variable we are uh, storing this category model so here we are going to say right now okay one more thing and that is uh, i did a mistake uh, from the category.blade.php we mentioned method equal to post so we need to go to our web.php and here you can see we mentioned get so it will be post and uh, we'll also go to our admin controller.php and since we are posting data so we need to make sure to write here request dollar request and make sure to save it here so right now we'll say dollar data this arrow sign and here you can see in the table here you can see category name so let me just copy this and we'll say here category name equal to we'll say dollar and this request actually let me copy it and paste it here we'll give this arrow sign then in the category.bread.php here you can see we mentioned here name equal to name right okay let's say here uh, name equal to category because that makes more sense so let's say here name equal to kata category so let's save it and we'll say over here request category then we are going to say dollar data save and after saving the data we want to stay on the 
same page it means uh, after we save the data will still on be on the on this same page so we'll just say here return redirect return redirect back so let's save it all uh, right now let's just refresh here and let's say our first category will be uh, let's say short and if you just click add category here you can see the page is reloaded and if you go to our database here you can see we have a new entry called short over here now one more thing we can do is that uh, we should show a message when we add a category that uh, category added successfully so we'll send a message from the controller uh, from here so we'll say here return redirect back we'll give this arrow sign to first bracket and here we'll say message we'll give a comma again to single quotation and we'll say uh, category added successfully and right now we need to catch this message uh, from the admin controller and uh, we'll show it in the uh, category.bed.php and let's say we'll show it after this header part uh, so we need to mention it uh, after this content wrapper so here we're going to say at the end of if we'll say session session this arrow sign has to single quotation we'll say message and we'll also need to in the if condition so we'll say in if so here uh, in this if condition in this session we'll first check if there is any message from the admin controller here you can see message so we'll uh, show the message over here if the session has a message so we'll just mention a div over here uh, let's say here div and inside this div we're going to mention a bootstrap class let's say here class uh, let's say the bootstrap class will be alert alert a -A -L -R -T, alert alert success and we'll show the message inside this div so we'll give two second bracket and we'll say session to first bracket this arrow sign get to first bracket single quotation and we'll say message so right now uh, let's save it control s and let's just refresh here again okay we got a error uh, unexpected token or dollar okay here you can see return derived back okay we need to mention with over here in the controller so let's go back go to admin controller and here we need to mention with with message let's save it again uh, let's refresh again and let's add a category let's say here it will be toy let's click add category and here you can see category added successfully message over here and if you refresh it will be gone now there is one more thing that we should do is that uh, when we add a category uh, it's showing us a message that category added successfully but we also should have a close option over here so that we can close this message otherwise every time we need to refresh this option so for it uh, let's go back to our code and we'll go to our category.plate.php and here we are showing the message so before this session uh, we'll say here button and the button type uh, type will be button and then we'll say here class it will be close then let's say data dismiss equal to and we'll say data dismiss it will be alert and area hidden it will be true and in this button we'll just give a x sign which is this one so right now if we save it and if we now refresh here let's say here mobile and click add category here you can see we have a close option and if we click it the message get close so this is all about this tutorial so in the next tutorial we'll just add a table over here and we'll show all the category data and we'll also have a delete option for the category so thank you very much for watching and if you like this video make sure to leave a comment give a like and i will actually really appreciate if you subscribe this channel so thanks again for watching stay tuned and stay healthy